Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my first outing actually, and my first video of 2022. We're down in Wales, we're going to do a wild camp in a permission forest. Uh, it's on the Brecon Beacons. It's a fantastic location. Um, I've just been extremely lucky. One of the lads have come past with a 4x4 and I managed to dump my kit onto him. Uh, which has saved me a hell of a slog, that's like 20 kilos plus. And it's all bloody uphill, so uh, uh, that was perfect timing. Um, <clears throat> the woodland is uh, its a fantastic woodland, it's absolutely beautiful in here. Uh, temperatures, it's about half past 11. Temperatures about 1 degrees at the moment, and it's not uh, forecast to get above 4 at all today. So um, it's going to be a chilly one. Um, so I'm just going to get up, join the others. Get my uh, my kit set up. Um, I'm going to be hammock camping tonight with a tarp, and then I'll um, I'll take you around my kit, and we we'll go for a wander in the woods, see what we can find. Bring you back in a bit, guys. Okay, so uh, this is the pack. The pack is a snug pack, uh, rocket pack, and uh, 70 liter. The two sides are removable. It takes it down to a 40 liter pack. Um, in the two sides I've got my complete sleep and shelter system and then all my other crap is just packed inside but it's a, it's a great bag, highly recommend it Okay, so this is my uh, my setup for tonight We'll start off with the, uh, oh, the nice to have, the UCO candle burns for about 8 hours and just gives off a nice, just enough light it's just really nice For the shelter I've got the DD 3x3 tarp I've got it in that uh, formation at the moment. It's basically the standard A, and then I've put a stick up just so I can have a nose out because I'm a nosy bugger and I like to see what's going on. If it gets too cold, I will drop it down a bit later. So let's go in now and have a good sleep system. So in here, I've got the Snug Pack uh, Tropical Hammock, no bug net, don't need one this time of year. I've got the Snug Pack and the Blanket. Lovely and warm that one. I use it every time. In for the pillow, I've got the Trekology pillow. You can see that. I've got the hammock quilt in there. That's really nice as well because it's got a little pocket to put your feet in, and you've got little flaps then to go under your body. And just because it's meant to get down to like minus three, minus four tonight, I've brought a little fleece blanket as well just to go over the top. Uh, I've got a ridge line across here for my lamp to go on, and it just gives a bit of support in there. And that is, and um, that is our sleep system. Underneath I've got the uh, the rocket pack, snug pack bag like I said, and I've got the snug pack stash of G2 um, Emergency tarp, I'm just using it as a ground sheet, but it can be converted into a bivy or, or another tarp if, if needed a Bit of water, I've got the billy can with me A carry kettle, that is my possibles pouch Over here, I've got the firebox stove, do a bit of cooking on later and a couple of cans of Northern Monk and this is what my buddy just gave me this is uh, honey from his own um, hives which I'm really looking forward to trying so yeah guys, that is the sleep setup show you uh, the views around here Dave has just got set up over there in a little uh, TP tent, looks really nice uh, Matt and Richard are just getting the fire going They've got the uh, the tarp setups as well. We'll check them out in a bit if the lads don't mind or if I remember, whatever comes first. Let's go back to my setup. I'll bring you back in a bit, guys. This one is uh, full setup. 
Um, I'm not quite sure what the tarp is. It's a three and a half meter DD. It's a three and a half meter DD in the Coyote Brown, is it? Yep. And he's gone for a very similar setup to to Richard. It's like the, the standard A frame, but then you've got two nature hike uh, awning poles on it, so you get a nice view coming out. It's a nice setup. I like it. Sleeping system. He's got the. It's a DD again. A DD front line. A DD front line hammock. DD underquilt. Underquilt. Uh, and inside is a surplus British Army winter bed. Yeah. Got himself a nice little chair there. Nice little fire pit. Phil came up last night. He had a cold night last night. It was uh, minus three for him. But there you go. There's his setup. And there's his view looking out. It's like a better place to be. Okay, guys. And this is the, uh, the most important thing in this woodland. It's a luxury for wild camping, or permission camping, however you want to call it. Did a big hole and a long drop. We have a toilet. I don't think there's anybody in there, is it? No, let's take you and have a look. So, nothing too fancy. You've just got a, a hole in the, uh, in the ground. Goes into a... Uh, into a pit underneath and then they come and uh, compost it up once you've done your business you just drop some uh, straw down to cover it up only number twos no number ones in here guys so if you want to have a, uh, a number two in this is the view you get obviously you can close the door if you want to but why would you just having a bit of uh shooting practice in the woods guys we've got some targets up i haven't shot a gun for years but this is fun it takes me back to my childhood You guys are making a Thai lamb green curry with noodles and uh, some naan breads. But for some reason, I've lost most of the footage, so you'll just have to take my word for it. It was bloody lovely. Okay, guys, so it's uh, it's about half past eleven, up quarter to twelve. I'm just going to my hammock and I'm going to uh, going to read for a bit. Um, it's been a great day so far, an evening. We sat around the fire drinking a few beers, chewing the fat. Temperature's about one degrees at the moment, so it's still quite chilly. As you can tell, but it's just started to rain. I don't know if you can hear the rain on the top, but it's just starting to rain, so um, it's quite peaceful. I quite like, like uh, listening to the rain on the top. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice experience. So, I've got my book, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So I'm just going to get started on that, and then um, unless something drastic or exciting happens uh, overnight, I will uh, bring you back in the morning. Night all. Okay, good morning all. It is. Uh, 20 to 8 in the morning um, had a pretty good sleep last night uh, owls were quite active so they woke me up a few times got a little bit chilly at times where my under blanket um, for some reason swung around so it was only covering half of me so I had to pull that back a couple of times but overall a good night it's really cosy you know, when you get it right so time to get up now, have a coffee, get some breakfast going and get packed up. But yeah, here we go.
Okay guys, that's, uh, that's camp all packed up. Uh, been a great night. I said to go a bit chilly, but it was good. Been up this morning, had a bit of breakfast, a couple of cups of coffee and just got packed up. So there's where I uh, stayed last night. You know, I'm a, a firm believer of uh, leave no trace. My bag looks bigger now than when I started, so I'm not quite sure how I managed that because there's a, a good kilo less of food in there. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. So, um, just uh, just wanted to say, guys, thanks for thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back with another video soon. Cheers all. Take care. Bye-bye.